Good morning, good morning. Walking therapist is here. <laughs> Obviously, you guys know where I am. If you're my subscriber, and if you're not my subscriber, why are you not my subscriber? That's the question. Anyway, I'm at my lake, and I find that I have the best thoughts here. So I record quite often here, just talking about some random things to do with Thailand, Phuket, moving abroad, living abroad, being best version of yourself. So today's episode is about fears, okay? Why are you scared to move, relocate to Thailand? Or abroad, let's call it overseas. It doesn't have to be Thailand. Um, so yeah, I want to talk about that. So what's stopping you from moving abroad? What is it? Is it a job? Is it a family? Is it financial situation? What you've got to do, you've got to ask yourself a question. What are my values? What's really important for me? And whilst I'm doing this speech, I'm going to give example about me because you know, guys, I moved and uh, I had a very good job, a nice car, a nice house, uh, nice clothes and all the rest of it. So good morning, everyone. I'm matching my graphics in the office. Color coordination. Let me show you something. It didn't sit in line with my values, not even values, with my priorities. So one of my, what, well, top three for me is health, freedom. Okay, the third one is kind of similar to the freedom one, but I like to do what I want to do. So to be on my terms, you know, it's like, I don't know, if I want to wake up and go and work out, I do that. If I don't want to do that and just watch Netflix, then I just do that. So I think that's are my top three things. So living in UK were not giving me any of those three things. What I'm looking for is a family man. <laughs> I can trust them more. Also just wondered if my spots were ever gonna go away. It's got its own name now. Like talking about being well, uh, it's impossible. It's literally stresses everywhere, weather is crap. The only thing that you kind of enjoy in UK is when it's summer. And as soon as the sun is out, everyone is in beer gardens. <laughs> so uh, that's nice. But that's it. Like the winter is miserable. It's proper suicidal. Right. I've just made my first sale. Basically, I've sold a lamp for a tenner. Um, yeah, I've joined every single group possible. Uh, like this, the bargain hunter. You know, and so that is not great for the health. Obviously, the food, unless you load it and you can shop at Mark Spencer's. Yeah, but the rest, you know, organic, healthy food is expensive. It's like, it's expensive to be healthy. <laughs> you know, to try to get to the doctors is mission impossible. Literally, you need to be dead before before your GP will see you. Whereas here, I just, you know, go, go, go and, I don't know, I needed, a blood, I needed a blood test the other day. Okay, I'm just gonna do a blood test. Oh, in this one? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, we're in the room. Hello. I'm not. Oh yes. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay. So I'm um, doing blood tests now. I'm not scared, by the way. You can do uh, blood pressure. Okay. We're gonna check blood pressure first. Let's see. Okay. Well, the color of the blood is okay. She said. So there's no 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 problems there. Also, she checked my face for acne. So she said hormones should be good because I have no acne. Um, yeah, just pop into the clinic. Just said, right, I need to check this. Let's go. I don't need to tell you guys, but you are who you are, who you hang out with, and what you find in UK. And I was the sign. I was a miserable bitch, literally unapproachable, miserable bitch. I would never say even hello to people in a gym. Literally, I wouldn't even talk to anybody. Now I just just talk to some random people that I meet on the walks here. But anyway you know it kind of you, it brings you down as well because everyone's around you it's like when you go to london everyone's elbowing each other trying to get on the tube i'm like oh my god you know that that's just terrifying um whereas here i'm by myself i have nobody to elbow <laughs> plenty of space um so yeah so uk did not provide me being healthy 
freedom. We all slaves. Literally in UK, we all slaves. It's all about working, working and earning money and then dying rich because <laughs> you are so knackered and so worrying about the money that you've earned because obviously you had to graft for it. You don't want to spend it. You don't want to spend it. So I'm like, what is the point of 100K in my bank account as a saving where I can't even go off and enjoy it because, um, yeah, I'm just too terrified to be poor. Sorry, had to stop and get my hair up. Started to absolutely sweat. Um, yeah, sorry I look like a homeless person. <laughs> I, I'd look like I live here in this jungle. But um, yeah, no, I had a laser treatment yesterday for my face to get rid of the sun pigmentation. Wasn't really careful when I first moved here and I would only like apply SPF once a day. Now, obviously, I know I need to do it every three hours because the sun is absolutely insane. That's what I don't like about Thailand, actually. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's the sun. It's just too much of it. But anyway, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to be like in UK. It's raining. Everybody's moaning about being, it's raining. When it's too sunny, oh my God, it's too hot. It's like, when are you happy? Like, when is it good? Like, where was I? So in UK, everything is just so planned, so predictable. It's like, you can't go left or right. You know, my days off were planned. I had to like go shop, do shopping, do the washing, do this, do this, do this. And like sometimes I'd get more knackered on a day off than actually being at work. And I always give this example, and excuse me for being so open and honest. <laughs> I hope you appreciate that and like my video. But I even pooed at a certain time. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's like I'd wake up at 6.30 I uh, have breakfast at 7 or sometimes 6.40, have breakfast at 7 and then half past 7, I'd have a number 2, like every day. So just imagine you are living, you can't even be spontaneous because you have to think so much, plan so much. And here I just wake up and I decide what I'm going to do today. If I fancy a fish for lunch, or maybe I drive around on a bike, go and meet a friend, go on the beach, go for a hike. I don't know, walk around the old town in Phuket, which I absolutely loved. I've created so many videos about it. You guys need to see it. It's just so nice. I'm going to share the links in the description down below. Hi. And um, yeah, super, you like, check it out if you're coming here. Um, so yeah, do, 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 do you get what I'm saying? Everything is just so predictable. It's like when I was in UK, I was thinking, is this a deja vu? It's like same shit, a different day. Your government want you to be unwell. They want you to be ill. What's that pharmaceutical business? Not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. But billions, billions are being made. So you go to the doctor, they prescribe you tablets, makes you even more ill. So yeah, so your health is just going downhill. It's like here, I found so many natural remedies that you could heal yourself. I want to give you like a super quick example and absolutely irrelevant to this video. But when I moved um, here, Obviously, with a lot of stress, you know, I'm not going to lie, I was absolutely having panic attacks and anxiety, thinking, what the hell am I doing? Am I going absolutely crazy by dropping everything in, in UK and, and and coming here and living like an island girl? <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so anyway, when I moved here, my period stopped completely. At one point, I was just like, is this a menopause? I'm 37, so it could be a menopause. So I was like absolutely freaking out. So anyway, I've got obviously some Thai friends and I was telling them about it. And then they all said it's to do with Pfizer vaccine, but I'm not going to start that debate. Uh, you know, if it is, it is what it is. I had Pfizer, by the way, two shots. And uh, anyway, I found the shop. Well, not found. I've been told where the shop is. And they sell everything, but everything that you find in nature, and they collect it from all around around the world and put into this like a, well, they call it medicine, but it's not medicine. It's like mushrooms, cacao, cinnamon, and all the other weird names that I don't even know. I don't even know them in my own uh, mother tongue, let alone in English. 
Anyway, I got this immunity booster. Right, so I've got this immunity boost, booster. Booster. So you've got all the ingredients there, 100% organic. I'm starting it today. Let's see, I'll let you know how I get on. I did not have my period for four months. So I've got the immunity booster. I even remember it now. It was Thursday and I put like a one spoon into my um, overnight porridge. I love overnight porridge with like goji and chia seeds and everything. So that was Thursday. On Saturday, my period started. I was, I was just blown away. I'm like, what the hell? You know, so um, it just shows that in UK, the government wants us to be ill, you know? There's so many other things in that shop and uh, what I'll do, because I've got so many videos on my channel and I don't want to waste your time, like I like to be effective and like straight to the point, in a description I'm going to list all the videos like about the, the shops. If you're coming to Thailand, Phuket, you can pop in and I get 5% discount there, so I'll share the code there too. Um, you know, the salon I go to for my IPL treatments, uh, what else did I say in this video? can't remember now, but anyway anything that is useful i'm going to kind of have headers and then I'll, I'll put it in description so have a look we'll save you time searching for my channel so the purpose of this video was to encourage you if you want to go and do something you need to go and try it i mean what's the worst that can happen let's say you move to thailand you don't like it it's not your thing you just go back to uk and get another job and be a slave <laughs> you know i don't want to die early rich and miserable bitch <laughs> i'm gonna be a rapper now um yeah i want to live long i want to be the best version of myself i want to look great as well um yeah have r the right people around me as well who support me who encourage me like you know the culture in uk if you're doing well or say you've got a really nice house and nice car people immediately think oh she must have only fans I'm like... Uh, no, I've got great brain. Oh, that's how I earn my money. Thank you very much. So people don't want you to do well. People want you to fail. Do you get me? Whereas here, some people have give me suggestions how to earn money. They're like, oh, Natalia, no, don't do that. That would give you more money. No, ask for more, negotiate more. So people celebrate your successes. So anyway, I'll leave it up to you. You decide. If you need any help, don't forget I provide consultations. Consultations, chat, however you want to call it. Again, details in the description down below. So if you found my video useful or beneficial or added any sort of value for you today, please don't forget to like or comment and share it. Maybe you have some friends who actually need to hear this to help them to make that decision. Just share it. There is a little button at the bottom of this um, of this video that says share. <laughs> Just press that. And don't forget to subscribe. So don't miss me too much. I will see you soon.